I'm going to get started. So I'm uh, Tom Kilgallen. I'm a certified financial planner um, with my own firm, Fairweather Strategies, based in Andover. Um, today, I wanted to talk about um, why an exiting business owner really should talk to a financial planner um, well ahead of their planned exit. Um, and I'll, I'll, if you guys could all go on mute, that would be great. Sorry. And um, the, the reason being why an exiting owner would need to um, talk to a planner ahead of time is um, it can change the nature of the exit. It can really change the way you do it substantially. So I'll get that into, into that here in a second. Uh, let me see if I can move the slide forward here a little bit. All right, so some obvious disclaimers, everyone's position is uh, unique, et cetera, but this, this is gonna be some broad-based advice I'm giving here today. So my um, father used to say, when everyone else is running, um, you walk. Um, and that's the same for exit planning. Um, you'll notice um, when someone's exiting, they, they always seem to be running on the exit sign. But it's not a great idea to rush your exit. Um, Gaelic in Ireland for taking it easy, slow down is to toga buggy. So it's a little bit of Gaelic for you. But the exiting owner really needs to slow down, stop, think about their exit. What do they want their ideal exit to look like? Now, one, it's not the whole puzzle, but one really important piece of the puzzle um, is your is is to to look at your odds of achieving um, future goals by looking at your plan, all the different cash flows that you expect over time. Um, moving forward here, second. So the first thing um, you need to think about is a lot of exiting owners will come when they're looking at selling their business and they'll say, you know, I, I really need like X amount, you know, I need 2 million from the sale of my business. And that's what I'm asking for, for this business, because, you know, I need to fund my kid's wedding or the house extension, you know, in the next few years, you know what the buyer of your business does not care. They don't give a damn about, you know, those plans, they're going to look at the value of your business and what it's actually worth. Um, so not what your future goals are going to be. So doing a financial plan is not going to help you figure out um, the, 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 the price you should get for your business, but it will help you determine the range of exiting options. And that's based on whether you have a surplus or a deficit beyond what you need for your financial goals. Um, so financial planning is about you know, modeling out future cash flows. So incoming and outgoing, everything we do with my software for financial planning um, is based on future cash flows. So we can model pretty much anything. The same with an exiting business owner as a non-exiting business owner. Um, we can look at lump sum payments. We can look at buyouts over time. Uh, we can look at um, income from employment, um, consulting, should the business owner want to stay on in the business a few more years. Um, we can model out different scenarios side by side. So looking at different price mul multiples for the business. You know, what if you get two times revenues or four times EBITDA? We can look at all that side by side. And then we can look at cash flows for whether you exit today or many years in the future. Um, if you want to stay and grow your business, we can model that all out as well. Um, this screen here just shows how we put in cash schedules, cash flows coming in different years from now. And then we have the different scenarios like sale to a competitor, stay and grow, as I said, um, private equity recapitalization maybe. This all gets plugged into the software. And then, so the, the end thing, the, the big reveal at the end of the plan that um, my clients get really excited about, whether they're exiting owners or, or non-business owners, you know, just regular people retiring, is we have this um, this kind of speedometer looking thing here, which shows you your probability of success of meeting your financial goals. So for a lot of people that might be uh, not running out of cash in retirement, um, but for a lot of, uh, you know, exiting owners, maybe on the higher end, it's also maybe their goal incorporates leaving X amount of money for their estate, et cetera. Whatever it is, we model that out and I try and get my clients into a high probability of success, you know, ideally up in the high 90s, um, one way or the other. It's based on Monte Carlo simulation. I'm not going to get too geeky into how that works. Um, but what you can see here is we've modeled out different scenarios side by side, side 
um, shows you your future dollars, future revenues in all years from these cash flows. So this kind of analysis is really useful in, in helping figure out your, your future exit. Um, so what happens if there's a surplus? So we do all this work, we plug all the numbers in, everything, all cash flows, future inheritances, social security, different uh, cash flows from the sale of the business, whether you stay employed or sell it outright. Um, if you have a surplus and we look like you're way ahead of schedule, you, you have more money than you need from the sale of this business, um, then you might not need to go look for, um, to sell it for the highest price possible. You might say like, look, um, I'm not gonna go for the highest um, ticket price, sales price from this. I'm gonna try and take care of my employees or my stakeholders, uh, like customers properly. I'm gonna make sure that the buyer, um, you know, is someone that's gonna take care of my employees, is gonna do right by the company or the environment, et cetera. Um, or you might decide, you know what, I, I'm gonna just go and sell for the highest price anyway, because my goal is to maximize whatever estate I can leave for my kids, even though I have enough money for myself to get me to the end of my life. Um, now, what happens if there's a deficit? So you take a look at the valuation of your business and you, we plug it into the, into the software and it's just not enough, like even, even, even stretching the multiples a little bit. Um, that might be an indicator that business owner wants to um, stay and grow a little longer. Maybe they need a few years to get some more growth, um, increase sales, etc. Maybe they need to streamline it, tidy it up, uh, make the business look less dependent on the business owner um, so it can then get a higher multiple or take some of the risk out of the business so you get a higher multiple for the business. Um, and then Another thing we can do, and I do this with, with all kinds of clients, business owners or not, um, if there is a deficit and they're not quite there with having a high 90s probability of reaching their goals, um, we take a second look at those goals. Um, so, you know, we'll play around with, with this needle here. What, what if they stay a little longer before they retire? Do they really need to spend this much money um, in retirement? Could they could they get by with spending a little, a little less or not? not buying that big purchase or those toys, et cetera. Um, and what if they save a little bit, put a bit, little bit more money away into savings before they retire? And then we can look at different portfolio strategies as well. I'm not going to get heavy into that today. Um, but what I'm trying to underscore here is if you do the work ahead of time, plugging all these numbers into the financial plan, it's really going to guide the nature of your business exit. Um, so I'm kind of um, going to leave a, lo a lot for, um, for another day here. Obviously, the whole realm of financial planning is really, really deep. We have other financial planners on my business exit team, so I'm going to leave tons of material. Uh, but one thing to think about um, that I think about with business owners that are exiting is that owner, you know, they used to have most of their assets in one big illiquid kind of holding, which is their business. Now they've got to look at maybe most of their assets are in bonds, um, stocks, real estate, multi multiple you know holdings that are, that are liquid. You could sell them at a dime if you got panicky if there was a downturn. That's very different from you know uh, having one big illiquid holding um, in your business. And um, so, how does the owner deal with that psychologically, especially when they're not used to having most of their money out in the the, the market? Um, and then there's other biases. There's the whole tax planning, the estate planning consequences of the exit. So I'm going to leave that for another day for the other uh, financial planners on the team. Um, but that's uh, really what I wanted to get through here. So again, just to underscore, the business exiting business owner really ideally will talk to a financial planner um, well ahead of time, well before the exit. And not just to talk about investments, but to really do a proper plan with all these cash flows mapped out. And that can really change the nature of, of uh, giving you a feel for your options uh, ahead of selling your business.